Good morning, folks. Using Stellarium to see what sunset will look like tonight from Columbus, Ohio, I hope you can see the dark spot to the right of the sun. It's the moon approaching solar conjunction, aka the new moon. Important specifically right now because that means it is not outshining the celestial sights at night. As we come around to early morning hours before sunrise tomorrow, the Geminid meteor shower will be in full swing. It's the best one of the year. Don't miss it, especially because rock comet Phaeton is thought to be contributing to the shower this year. Northeast Caribbean is always shaking, but this is a slight uptick, especially with a four-pointer in the Cayman Islands. The White Islands volcano in New Zealand is on alert after significant dome activity and temperature rise over just the last few days. Tropical Cyclone Claudia going south and may turn slightly east. We have another cyclone up to the right, that's Cyclone Evan, actually going northeast, then going to stop and head back down for Australia. Got a ways to go yet before Evan gets his big boy pants. Last 24 hours has brought a cold air mass down across Norway, significant precipitation encompassing Eastern Europe and the north. More should be expected tonight. Back to Australia, where you'll remember Cyclone Claudia's tail is drenching southwestern Australia, even causing flooding. It meets that pressure convergence in the same area, and unfortunately that entire low pressure system is under a watch zone tonight. This is how yesterday went for Florida. Rain. Flooding. Coming to the pressure map, you see that big blue low creeping over the states. Just as one would expect, the low pressure systems really drive the wind. Southern air is being pulled north across much of the United States. That warm air hits the Pacific moisture, mixing with the colder northern air sucked in the western edge and produces precipitation like this here. The north rushing air already showing temperature delta. Bartol Cosmic Ray Monitor is down this morning, that's a shame. We did have two gamma bursts since we last spoke, both coming from the northern celestial hemisphere. Solar wind speed is under 300 kilometers per second again, another reason we like to see the Bartol back, eh Jack? Sun popped a mild flare this morning, but it's difficult to really gauge our danger. These spots are developing, morphing, new ones behind them are popping up, and the magnetics suggest we could be ready for danger soon, but the opposite polarities just aren't mixing too badly few dark plasma filaments on the sun. One on the top left goes a bit wild. Top right you see a bright spot and if you know the sun, that ain't right. Active regions approach the equator at solar maximum and this is high for a solar minimum. Signs of change on the sun. Coming to the southern hemisphere we had a tiny eruption just north of that large coronal hole. Not much to worry about. Two sizable coronal holes on the disk. Moon conjoining four celestial bodies in four days. Hope yesterday's quake break continues. Eyes open. No fear, the world's not ending in nine days and it's 6.15 a.m. Eastern time. That's the news. Be safe, everyone.